now we are going to discuss work done in an adiabatic process first we see work done in an adiabatic expansion let us consider the cylinder having frictionless piston contains n number of uh, gas molecules the cylinder is perfectly fitted with the insulator now it is considered as adiabatic system its initial volume is v1 its initial temperature is t2 here the temperature is considered as high temperature this is the pv diagram the nature of uh, gas molecules at the initial stage is marked as 1 its volume is v1 now the gas molecule is expanded adiabatically so its uh, volume is uh, increases from v1 to v2 and the pressure is decreases the work is being done by the system adiabatically the work done can be calculated from this area its temperature is decreases from t2 to t1 so energy is also decreases the energy value should be negative that is change in internal energy value should be negative since it is adiabatic process q is equal to zero that is uh, no heat transfer according to first law of thermodynamics change in internal energy is equal to q plus w since q is equal to zero and the energy is negative delta u becomes minus w we know that delta u is equal to n cv delta t where delta u is the change in internal energy n is the number of molecules cv is the molar heat uh, capacity at constant volume delta t is the change in temperature that is uh, final temperature minus initial temperature substituting final and initial temperature we get minus w is equal to n cv into t1 minus t2 rearranging this equation we get minus w is equal to minus n cv t2 minus t1 this is the work done in an adiabatic expansion next we discuss adiabatic uh, compression that is work done in an adiabatic compression let us consider the same system its a volume is v1 here uh, the initial temperature is considered as low temperature this is the pv diagram here the initial volume is marked as v1 it's a high volume now the gas molecules are compressed adiabatically so the volume decreases from v1 to v2 and pressure is increases as work is being done on the system adiabatically heat is not being absorbed the work done can be calculated uh, from this area its temperature is increases from t1 to t2 so energy is also increases so its value should be positive as i said previously delta u is equal to q plus w since q is equal to zero and the change in energy is positive delta u becomes w we know that delta u is equal to n cv delta t substituting delta u and delta t value we get w is equal to n cv t2 minus t1 so work done in an adiabatic expansion is equal to minus w is equal to minus n cv t2 minus t1 work done in an adiabatic compression is w is equal to n cv into t2 minus t1 thank you